Jesus is constantly on the move. It's time for you to join him in what he's already doing. I'm Mariah Berryhill, and this is Mission Messiah. Um, if you're struggling with an addiction or you feel not loved, um, just know that you are. I struggled with an addiction since I was 13. I went to many treatments and nothing helped, and who knew that God was the answer? Um, I gave up my kids for adoption thinking that um, I wasn't enough because I didn't know how much I was loved. But if you just see God, God will show you who you are and see that you don't have to believe the enemy. You don't have to like just believe those lies that you can just truly walk in freedom. Then that's what Mission Messiah has done for me is I've only been there five months, but in those five months, I've been freed from bondage that was my home. I've um, been healed from things that I never thought I would be healed from. Um, I'm restoring relationships that I thought were gone forever. So. Um, just anybody who's struggling with an addiction or just any kind of bondage or just even wanting to figure out who they are, whether you're a teen or you're older, you know, um, it's never too late. God has you here for a reason and just seek him and he will show you what that is. Paul Evans' huge selection of in-stock hardwood, vinyl, tile, and carpeting lets the Paul Evans customer fall in love with their actual floors instead of having to choose off of a tiny sample. Here at Paul Evans Flooring, we love big. Big rolls of carpet, big pallets of flooring, and of course, big savings for you. From budget to unbelievable, Paul Evans has the perfect floors for your home. second grade and in chapel they said well our teachers it was a Christian school so they could do that yeah. back then yeah. but we'll pray with you so I went and it was just like Lord I would love this gift and nothing happened right. nothing happened so I just went home and every day right. I would say Lord you know do what you want to do and two weeks later I know this is going somewhere, this guys, I promise, this I promise. Good. Two weeks later, I was sitting on the toilet, doing my business, <laughs> praying, and it just started uh. coming out. <laughs> I went outside, <laughs> and my place to practice was out by the horses. So down at the horse barn, one day, I started singing, and just these lyrics came, and then I thought, I just want to sing a prayer. So I started singing in the spirit. Wow. It was also something that I think the Lord gave me at that time because there were some family challenges. My parents got divorced when I was 14. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of my escape to just go out and be with the Lord, have my prayer mm -hmm. language. And I think that that's something that strengthened me. You know, but that's you asked so about cool. music. It's like coupled with music. I would just encourage you, if you are a musician um, and desire to flow in that you know, ask the Holy Spirit to just flow through you. And it could Amen. be on your own um, or whatever. When we are in those difficult places in life, the thing that I just heard here that, that we always want to encourage everyone is the answer is to run to Jesus. Yes, isn't absolutely. It? And that's what absolutely. you hear this young girl doing on a daily basis at yeah. the barn. Yeah. Is literally going to Jesus. Mm -hmm. And that's... Mm -hmm. That's the answer. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. This has been so much fun. Is there anything else that you, you want to show us or is there a word that you want to mm. speak to these listeners and viewers today? Mm. 
Well, I just truly believe that whatever, you know, is in your heart, just really ask the Lord how to have that balance in your life. Because we can have a passion and we can just run after it and we mm -hmm. might get tired or we mm -hmm. might get sick or we might get down, whatever mm -hmm. it is. But if we constantly focus on having that balance, that spirit, soul, and body, right. then the Lord can just keep bringing us back into that balance. I remember the day when uh, you know, I was trying to order all of my time. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, it, was, it became a burden. It became mm. a real burden. It when you were trying to do it out of your own strength kind of, of a thing, of yes. yes. When in fact, what I, what I finally came to know mm -hmm. is surrender to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Jesus is your CEO. Amen. I'll, I'll say it first person. Is Jesus is my, my CEO. CEO. Okay? I will say it too. I, I will say it, right? Yeah, yeah. Jesus is the best CEO we can have. I mean, what more could you want? Oh my yeah. goodness. Yeah. You know, and when I first started my business, that is a prayer I said. And I would encourage you to do it. If you believe in the Lord, mm -hmm. you have a business, your employee, whatever you are, Jesus can be your CEO. Amen. And guide you and direct you through every step of that. That's right. And it came back just the other day. I was sitting and I was confused about a few things and I said, Lord, what direction do you have for me? Mm -hmm. Because as an entrepreneur, people ask, you have this skill, can you do this? You can do this. Oh, can mm -hmm. you run my business? Oh, can you do marketing? Oh, you should right. do music. Oh, you right. should do, or, you know, yeah. whatever it is. And I was just, I had all these options down on the page and I'm like, Lord, just show me. Right. You know, and he reminded me, he goes, I want to be your CEO. Will you like put me back in that spot? Because I, I think I'd gotten a little off. I was trying to manage my day, you know, yeah, like how everybody me. said yeah. you should. Right. And, and so I wrote in my journal, yes, Lord, I want you to be the CEO, you know, and he goes, okay, check in with me every morning. <laughs> Come on. When you, you know, if you are Before an employee. Before your eyes open. Yes. And you gain consciousness. Yes. But if you work a normal nine to five job or whatever, you walk into work and you meet with your CEO, you meet with your boss, you figure out what is your game plan, mm -hmm. okay? If Jesus is our CEO, we should be going to him for our game plan. Amen. You know, first thing in the morning, because you might think you have this meeting and this phone call and this email to get to or whatever, and he might totally redirect your day. And well, it could be way better than you ever planned. And I'm telling you, uh, if you don't get to him first and get your instructions, your day can unravel mm -hmm. really quickly. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is a blessing. Yes. Uh, and Thank I look you. forward to more opportunities. So let me make sure I've got this now. Mm -hmm. You really pretty much are an entrepreneur. Yes. That's how full -time you. Full-time entrepreneur. Full-time <laughs> entrepreneur. you got to love it. Amen, don't you? Yes. And Jesus Christ is her CEO. Amen. 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 So guess what? She's walking in success. Amen. Absolutely. If someone would like to get in touch with me, I am on social media so as far as the essential oils business goes and health coaching okay. you can find me ancient secrets of health that's good ancient secrets of health yes okay. so i'm on facebook ancient secrets of health um twitter instagram and youtube so i'm actually starting a live awesome. youtube video every yes. wednesday at noon it'll either be live or pre-recorded if i'm traveling yeah. or something but right. we just tune in and share health tips in a really fun fun way right. so that's that what a fun life amen <laughs> Let me tell you, Jesus is fun, isn't he? He is. He is, he is so a much great fun. Right, CEO. Yes. Amen. He'll keep you on your toes. He He'll will keep, keep, you, keep you on your toes. The Lord bless you and uh, check this out. Check that website out. I would love to meet you guys. Please write me a message. If you're looking for a health coach, awesome. Just a mentor, Amen. life, whatever. I would love to talk with you. Amen. The Lord bless you. So how can you not be inspired by pieces that were inspired by so much love? I mean, if you're looking for something for Mother's Day, look no further than wow, because these pieces are there and 
Anita is a gem and a treasure, and you'll find that the pieces she's designed will be gems and treasures for you. You know, we were talking about at camp the other day because there's so many new babies in camp. Uh, uh, you know, the babies camp. Babies are young. People? No, no, babies and and younger children. You know, two year old just mm -hmm. beginning to talk. Um, little Elena is just beginning to talk, and she has started saying "bapple" instead of "apple." And now we all call them "bapples." And I realize. How many of our grandchildren, of course, you don't have any yet, but we're waiting yeah. on you. No, I, she raised children. She raised girls. <laughs> yeah, but y'all are rubbing that in, Rinda. You really have a head start, too. <laughs> yeah, man. How I many mean, grandchildren do 15. you have? Fifteen. Fifteen. Can you believe it? No, and you don't it's look like you could have 15 grandchildren. But it is pretty wonderful. Yeah. So we started with <laughs> words that kids say that you continue to call it. And, and my kids say pretender because... Sydney, your daughter said pretender, and they grew up together. We, we, all, we, we all say it now. Yeah. No, we, we, we all pretender. pretender. Who wants to pretend when you can pretender? Yeah, that's like, more fun. You know, let's have a tea party. Yeah. Let's pretender. There we go. Our oldest daughter came up with Ma Mazagine. Mazagine. It's never been magazine since. Everybody in the family says Ma Mazagine. Mazagine. That's mm -hmm. even hard to say, but you yeah. adopted it. Yeah. And then, and then, what was the other one? Marote. Our, our grandchildren. <laughs> they don't have remotes. They have marotes. Marotes. So now I'm like, no, it's not just the little people. The big people all say marotes. Of course marotes. we do. Of you course know what we you're do. always afraid of? That you're going to be sitting there with somebody super intelligent, and that's and the one you're going to roll off marotes. your tongue. I know. I, well, and I have to explain. Yes, again. I have a UTV. It's a it's a big Honda UTV and uh, four wheeler. And um, I got it right after Michael died. And my grandson Gabriel, who was living me, with me at the time, he couldn't. I called it the beast. He couldn't call it the beast, so he called it the Deets, and I Let just me guess. It's still it. It's still the Deets. Yeah. It's the Deets Garage. It's the Deets. Even my brother called it the Deets Garage. It's it's hilarious. And now, he I've realized that he he picks out certain sounds, and then the words are those sounds. So instead of Fresca, I drink Fresca a lot. Instead of Fresca, he heard sk, and now he calls it Scott. <laughs> So you drink Scott. So now we all drink Scott. Now watch it. Y'all are talking. Y'all are cursing. <laughs> are y'all drinking alcohol? Better watch it. No, we're not Scotch. It's Scott. <laughs> well, and Tammy and I, we always talk about how silly it is, but our grandmothers, not just our children, but even our grandmothers said things differently. Oh, my goodness. They washed and arned. They wore. My mother says arned, wash. Wash and arned. Wash and arned. My, my, my mother, please don't watch this, Linda. <laughs> um, she says fark. <laughs> her she fark. has she has her a fark. knife and fork. Her knife and fork. <laughs> well, it is but, because our mother that. washed an arm. <laughs> exactly. That's why she says well, I know. You know the other one though that my grandmother says. Now she's been three times. Okay, she is not just this little lady that's never left the states, but she goes to Hawaii. Of oh, course. Hawaii. Hawaii. Sure. Not Hawaii. Sure. Hawaii. Absolutely. And you know, as much as we laugh about that, you said something earlier that, that just resonated with me about, don't you know how, that is, that's how God looks at us. Yeah, I think so, so explain that. I really think that that's how he looks at us and I think that's how he stays in love with us. I think he sees us cute like that. <laughs> yes. I think for every I moment so. of every day, he's looking down going, look how cute they are. And I think if you were a rocket scientist, and he would say, oh, look, they're playing science. <laughs> look at them. They're pretendering. Yeah, they're pretendering. They're pretendering they can create. <laughs> I think that's how he has to see us. Or he couldn't stay in love with me. That's a good, really good point. But we are his children. Yes. And we're we love our children. children. And we love our grandchildren. Children. Yes. Children. Yes. children. Always children. So this is what? Really good. <laughs> our lemon. Mm -hmm. That's a lemon. pretzel. Mm. It's good, isn't it? Oh my, oh my gosh. I know. Mm. It's like a lemon cookie. Mm -hmm. Only it wow. Only it wow. Mm -hmm. The lemons are double dipped. Don't ask me why, but they all came double dipped. Okay. Like double dipped. I like double dipped. Because I think, I think more is more. Mm. I don't believe in the less is more <laughs> philosophy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Finger licking. This one ain't bad either. Sistress. Si <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, that's from sisters. now on. That's <laughs> from now on. <laughs>
the roots. Yes, the roots of it and completely heals and purifies and cleanses and makes us whole and washes us white as snow in Amen. the process. Amen. That's the beauty of this entire walk. That's the gospel of Jesus Christ Amen. summed up. Amen. So Amen. I'm Mariah Berry Hope. And I'm Haley McBride. Yeah. And I'm Lena Gay. <laughs> and this is Perspective. <laughs> Starla, I've got one question for you. Yes, sir. There's a lot of there's a lot of women that just got in the car and headed to work. What would you tell them? What would you tell them as they're driving to work? What would you tell them to help their day? To pray to God. Amen. So while give they're God the praise and the glory for the day that He's given us. Okay. So just just pray on their way to work. Absolutely. All right. Fantastic. I do every morning. That's what Everyone. I'm talking about. Go, girl. All right. All right. Bless you. Business Services is your source for color printing, signage, graphic art design, wide format printing, and custom embroidery. Zip Business Services is an authorized FedEx shipping location located at 943 North Grandview in Odessa. Zip on over. Zip, 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 zip. Let me ask you something. How many of you would like to have grace multiplied in your life? How many of you would like to have peace multiplied in your life? In all honesty, that is probably the overriding comment that I hear of ladies that come to Mission Messiah. They have absolutely lost any semblance of peace. There is no peace in their lives. And yet the Word of God says, grace and peace be multiplied to you. So. What's the key? What's the secret? Well, let me tell you, the Word goes on to tell us, grace and peace be multiplied to you through the knowledge of God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Won't you come to know Him? Well, welcome today to Life's Answers. Uh, Mariah, what's our question today? You have an email? So, yes, Jonathan from St. Louis actually emailed us and he said, how do I overcome my fear? And um, that question alone can kind of be stretched in the sense that I want to hit on because I know in my generation, it's kind of a widely spread and I'm going to tie it in with the categories. Fear can be the anxiety, um, the depression, the, all those things that go along with it. So yeah. that's where I kind of want to hit today. The thing I would like to say about fear, first, Jonathan, is God's Word says that there is no fear in love. No, that perfect love fear. casts out fear. And so we'll kind of keep that underlying and covering Throughout the things that about. we want to talk about right here. Well, and that's what I was going to talk about because truly once you've encountered the love of Christ, that changes everything. If you have really experienced it and that fear that you've been walking in, just being timid constantly, constantly having anxiety um, in social settings, um, there's a lot of things that come with it. But once you've encountered it, that new creation that He wants to bring over you, it is not like that. Letting the love of Christ wash over your mind and wash over your heart and understanding that it's not about you anymore, it's about Him. And I think that changes the perspective on everything. It, we're even told in the book of Revelations that we overcome the enemy of our soul by the blood of the Lamb, by the word of our testimony, and even by our willingness to die in that. That's like no fear. Being a slave to fear, you miss out so much on the opportunities that God has for you. Um, I think I... And isn't that why the enemy it wants, wants to... Keep you. And to that's to keep you as a slave to fear. People and that's and why God really wants to set you free from it. Just exactly. because that's not that's not what he says and sees no. when he looks at you. No. Uh, he sees 
someone that he died on the cross Absolutely. for, someone that he's cast their sins as far as the east is from the west, but the enemy would so love to keep you in that place yeah. to hold you back. And, you know, I think that's something I struggle with. I mean, we all have sin. We all fall short of the glory. We could talk about that all day. But even in my own personal life, you know, well, who am I to be teaching this when what if that comes up? What if my past comes up, you know, like, who am I to be saying this? And um, that really, I, I kept in that place for, and, and really struggled as far as, you know, my close community, I could do it all day long. I could love on the mission ladies and love, oh my gosh, if somebody might know about my, does that make sense? And I think. And, and that's, again, that's one of the things that the enemy works so hard to do is keep a person in shame and guilt and condemnation so that they will live under fear and not be able to walk in the fullness of who it is that you and I were created to be. Well, and but we've is, been called to boldness. And we have, and that's what I wanna talk about. This is a word that is truly lacking right now that really makes a difference. And the key is repentance. What was it? Repentance. Repentance. Once you go before the Lord and you come, not that he didn't know Artie ways, but just release that and let that go. Amen. Go to somebody who Amen. truly loves you and has your best interest at heart confess and, and be made right and don't stay there don't dwell in darkness exactly. begin to walk in the victory you're Ooh, gonna either good. gonna be the victim or the victor come in your life come and it's not because Mariah could overcome it clearly I couldn't on my own yeah. but it's knowing that's what he died for and that's you know right. how powerful the cross the cross really was I think we just it's kind of something you know we yeah. celebrated Easter Kumbaya. Yeah, you know, he died on the cross, but what did he die for? He died for you to have victory Amen. over that shame that and guilt. That you not be fearful. Yep. And that's because what it's all one about. one that's walking in sin, the Word says, they're always looking over their shoulder. And you and I know that because you and I know that when we have been in sin, fallen into sin and those things that we know are not right, we're always looking over our shoulder. Who's going to catch me? Mm -hmm. Well, the key there, let's not walk in sin. Let's humble ourselves and yield ourselves to the presence of the power of the Holy Spirit indwelling us that we might overcome those temptations. Well, and once again, I'll throw it in there. It goes back to being in your word and being grounded with good company. And just that's what will begin. You'll get more and more confident and bold in it. I had a friend, a personal friend. She used to struggle really, really bad with anxiety and uh, fear, whatever you want to call it, because the world labels it as something, you know? Right. Um, man, she started being around um, and not the, and it's not the praise to the people, but it, it goes back to being in the word and stuff. We became friends and she started actually working for my dad and stuff and helping. Man, her confidence now, there, there's no comparison. It's so much fun. It's, she's, she's a blast, but it became through the confidence of the word and That's knowing right. that she was worthy. The, the, not because of our choices, but because he said, no, Absolutely. I love you that much. Yeah. And there's no comparison in who she is now and who she was then. Absolutely. So we would say to you today, put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and know the confidence, courage, and strength that He's called you to walk in. Amen.